What up, what up, what up, fellow agents? Pure Prime here. Hamish just finished his state of the game and they talked about a few things. Friday will come a maintenance and they will let us know tomorrow when this maintenance is happening. And then for the raid completions, it was not their intentions to uh, get it off the game, but it looks like it's a visual problem or maybe a bigger problem behind the screens, but they are talking about it right now. And if it's not a problem for the game, they will bring it back. Then they talked about the flashlight a little bit. And I'm working on the fit as well. I'm already completed it, but I will upload it later today. And they talked about the apparel event. Uh, before this, you could only log in the first week and get a key for free. And the year one pass holders get three. Uh, but now they expanded it to the whole event. So it's not only the first week anymore, but it's the whole event every day when you log in you will get one key to open a apparel cache or you get three keys to open an apparel cache when you have the year one pass of course after the next apparel event ends they added an extra seven days for us to buy the pieces that we need or want so if you forgot one or you don't have the time to grind the game and to get all the apparel caches. You can buy it after the event is finished. And you will get 7 days to get it. After that they talked about the skins a little bit. And the skins for the specializations. And they showed two pictures and said they were in game already. Uh, you need to buy them with premium credits so no in-game grinding and that isn't a point that i love but it looks good it looks good let's get over to the pvp because they talked a little bit about the pvp they said again we will talk about pvp the next time or we will talk about PV pvp in the future the only thing they mentioned is that they found that the pvp defender drone will probably get a nerf because they saw the footage and saw all the complaints about it that you are pretty much indestructible so they're fixing it right now and probably get a big nerf on friday and then they talked about some players that experience problems with the upgrading bench so your crafting table and that's why i put out a vid yesterday and i will explain it a little bit better but uh, the problem was when you went to your crafting bench it won't show th that you can upgrade your bench and then there appeared another project in your projects where you have to defeat tidal basin uh, for some players it worked if you got that same problem go to your projects see if you got a project for tidal basin just complete tidal basin and for most of the players that will work and you will get your upgrade bench completed they talked about the firefly max target mod as well they know it has bugs and they're looking for it uh, on this time you can't add extra max targets on there if you add six max targets on there it will always say you have three they're working on it they know it so they're probably updated this friday and then they talked about the cps and the daily and weekly blueprints not showing up luckily it's just a visual problem but if you do your cps at level four or you'll do your daily or weeklies to get your blueprints all completed. It will work, guys. It will only not show you in the blueprint itself. But after you completed it, go to your bench and you will get a blueprint. They talked about the long loading time on PC. And they fixed it. They okay, let me explain it uh, like they explained it. 
Okay, they fixed the loading times. But now with TU5, they have seen there's a new problem that delays your loading time. So only on PC. And they mentioned that Xbox is having the same problems. Maybe a little bit less, but the PC definitely got problems in the loading times. Uh, they are working on it. It's such a big problem that you don't have to expect it in the next update or even the update after that. But yeah, we uh, have to stay tuned on that and hopefully they will come with more information in the future. Um, they forgot about the PvP patch notes. So the PvP patch notes are online right now. So if you are interested in what the shotgun does right now in PvP, go ahead, open up descriptions. Uh, you will see some other content from me and of course that link to the patch notes. And for the last thing, and they didn't add it uh, at their main story and they talked about the clan hopping. So for the clan changing for extra better pieces like this week's god roll the 15 percent weapon damage on a vest or even that 14 and percent but yeah they are looking for it and maybe they, they are trying to fix it but it sounded like they weren't in a real hurry to fix it so that will be good for us <laughs> uh, they don't want to cut off the new players or the smaller clans with that high attributes roles so they are discussing a solution for that but like i said i don't see that happening in the near future but yeah that's it for this week's state of the game guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button and of course the notification bell pure prime out